Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Welcome to the first lesson of Piano for Beginners. Now you might have noticed that last week we already did a video on Piano for Beginners, uh, but that was actually, you could say, a pre-lesson. Uh, because that's actually before we start playing, we make sure our posture is correct. So if you haven't checked out that video, the link will be somewhere above right here and in the description down below. So that is very important so that we have a foundation to build upon to play the piano. Now it's very important when we start playing piano that we teach all of our fingers the right movements so that they remember how to move on the keyboard of your piano. And like most of us have the most control when it comes to our thumb, index finger, perhaps middle finger as well, but like the ring and pinky finger most of the times don't get too much attention in this. Right, so to start off, I'm gonna just use my right hand and we're just gonna use the white keys, okay? Now, I've explained already how the keyboard works as well in a video called Music for Beginners. The keyboard is the best tool to learn music, in my opinion. So if you want to know how to navigate on your keyboard, watch that video, okay? Also, the link will be in the description down below. I'm gonna just start with my right hand because for a beginner, it's too advanced to use both hands at the same time. I'm gonna start with my thumb on the C4, which means it's the fourth C starting from the lower part on my keyboard. Yeah, this is C1, C2, C3, C4, okay? So we're starting with our right thumb on the C4. And I'm gonna put the other fingers each on the key next to that one, on the white key next to that. Okay, now I'm going to play one by one in a row upwards. So we have the C, we have the D, the E, the F, and the G. Okay, now I'm going to play each note two times in a row and then I'm going to return back with the same method. So, like this, two times C. D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're just going to play each note once, instead of two times, like this. So I lift my finger up for each time that I play another note. Now I said in the previous video for your posture that it's very important that we keep our fingers somewhat bent, not too much, not fully straight, a little bit, okay? Now there was a little pause in between every note. Now we're going to connect them. So every time that I lift the note up, I already push down the other one. Now be careful not to play them at the same time because otherwise the sounds will not match. Let's try this. We have. So at the exact moment that I push down the next note, I lift up the previous note. And so it's a smooth transition throughout each note. Now let's try and get a bit of agility in the fingers right now and move a little bit faster like this. Also, did you notice that every time that I play another note, all my fingers stay actually at this position. As a beginner, that can be helpful. It's not always necessary when you get more advanced, but in this, I would suggest just hold your fingers on the keys. It's easier to navigate and not to miss, right? If you hold your fingers on the keys, you're less likely to miss the notes that you want to play. Go a little bit faster like this, five, six, seven, eight. Now, let's try and repeat that a couple of times. Go up, go down, go up, go down. Two times. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now that we've done that with our right hand, we're gonna also do the same thing with our left hand. We have the same method, actually, but the difference is most people have a preferred side 
to do different things with. Like I'm, for example, left-handed, but I'm more used playing the melody with my right hand. Okay, so I'm better with playing the melody with my right hand. So there will always be one side that is better at something than the other side. Like with everything, not only with music and playing the instruments. Now for our left hand, we're also going to start at the C4, but we're going down so that we have the exact same movement like we did with our right hand, but the opposite, okay? So we start with the C, we go down to the B3, A3, G3, F3, okay? And then we go back up. We play each note two times in a row. So we play C, B, A, G, F, G, A, B, C. Okay? Now, exactly the same thing. We hold the fingers on the keys so we don't miss the note. Now, let's go from twice a note to once a note. Like this, we have. Okay, now there was a little pause in between. Now, let's connect them together so that it's a smooth transition between each note we have. And now we can go a little faster. And now let's repeat it a couple of times. Let's play that thing twice like we did with the right hand as well. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now if you have mastered this, and it's very important that we can keep the same rhythm kind of like, we didn't really talk about rhythm today, but you will hear if it's not controlled. If it's controlled, then the timing between each note will be pretty much the same, okay? You could use a metronome if you have one and try to match the tick of the metronome that way. I don't have one with me right here, but if you have one, it's definitely useful to keep the rhythm, okay? So if it's not correct, it will sound something like this. So it's, it's, it's not correct. You hear that it's not consistent rhythm. Whilst this is. More or less, because I don't have a metronome. Other side, just the same. So if you don't have the control yet, you will. It's not really smooth, okay? So again, use this metronome if you have one. If you don't, Try to hear if the rhythm stays consistent. Okay, guys, so that was it actually for lesson one. You should get the hang of this pretty soon. And then I hope you stay tuned for lesson two, where we go a little bit further into this. I hope to see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I also have reaction videos and I have music videos as well. So, thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Last week I showed you how to... Now you might have noticed last week that we have... Now, it's time, now it's time to start actually... Because it's for... Because for the... So we're starting with Mark. So we're... Th now, be sh now be careful not to play them at the... So we that... And now let's... Now let's... Then you... You hear that it's not the... So if you have... It's, it, it's not... Just try to hear if it's if the transition is just try to hear if the transition between each note takes the same try to hear if the try to hear if the rhythm stays you should be